Now one reason why we created this page was because the ball locks on this tool changer uh, put out about 80 pounds of pressure upon that tool holder that's on the inside of the spindle. There's no earthly way that you're going to be able to pull that out. I'm 300 pounds, I can't pull it out. Uh, and if you use a screwdriver, you're just going to tear it up. So the reason why we built this page was so that we could take those tools out uh, just simply by pushing a button and, button and telling it to, to uh, return to the tool holder in which it came from. Uh, so that's what all the buttons are on the left hand side. In the very center you're going to notice that there's a DRO on the top and DRO on the bottom that says old tool and new tool. Uh, that was suggested that it was put in there by the original programmer of the macro. His name was Brian. And uh, the reason for that is because with this macro, it wants to return a tool before it gets a tool. So if you don't have a value, then you're going to crash your, your tool changer. So you have to put a value in there first, and that value has to correlate with the tool that's in the spindle. Well, if you don't have a tool in the spindle, the best thing to do then is go get a tool. So if I went ahead and pushed the button for get a tool number one, then it's going to go ahead and get that tool. Once that tool has been gotten, then the DRO on the very center turns to tool number one and we have a value that we can work with. Uh, because this is a macro that, that is used for automatic tool changers, this macro uh, will return a tool that's been selected and choose a tool that you have selected to replace it with. So now we can make that replacement because we have a tool in the spindle and the tool itself has been recorded on the DRO and the DRO now will give that information back to the macro when it, when it, uh, when it, uh, when it wants or desires it. So we're going to go ahead and go to the MDI. I'm going to choose uh, MO6 T3. So MO6 is go get the tool. T3 is the tool number. And so when we push the, the resulting button, uh, enter it that is, uh, it'll go ahead and get that tool. But first it's going to return tool 1. So we'll, we'll hit that button. Alright, so the tool's now showing that, or at least the screen now is showing that it's tool 3. And because of that, the DRO now will send that number uh, back to the macro when it calls it so that it'll know where to return that tool when we call up another tool. So let's go ahead and call up another tool. I got uh, tool 3 in there, we'll go ahead and go to tool 7. Okay, now tool 7 has been selected and the numbers will change to accommodate that tool. Now we only have two, or we only have seven tools uh, that will rotate from, uh, from the first tool to the seventh. We don't have eight tools in here, so if we selected uh, M06 T8, let's do that. If we change that 7 to an 8. What's written into the macro is that it'll prompt you for another tool that's, that lies within one through eight, or one through seven. Mm -hmm. So now we're, ask, we're being asked to enter a tool number between one, uh, uh, tool number up to seven. I'll go ahead and ask for tool three. That's it. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you.